Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a full moon in Libra reading for my dearest Libras. Now this full moon is taking place on April 16th and I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction. You can feel free to skip ahead to the reading if you feel the need to do so. Um, but there's a lot going on with this full moon and it happens just after the biggest transit of the year the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces, which most of us agree there's a tremendous amount of potential for spiritual inspiration, but also there's this energy of mass confusion and delusion. This Libra full moon is also square Pluto, which means we may all need to face some personal or collective shadows. Um, what is no longer productive, uh, we need to take a look at and how we can view things from a different angle. So we'll all need to focus and have faith. And this Libra full moon is asking us to create more peace, beauty, and connection in our lives. All right. So if these messages resonate with you, my dear Libras, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And also, I want to remind you that my full moon and my new moon readings are not always specifically about love, although they certainly can be. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Libras for this full moon in Libra. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Libras for this full moon in Libra. Wow, these cards are popping. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, doing things differently. All right, look at that. Nine of Wands in reverse. Many of you have been overworking. You haven't been resting enough. You haven't been creating space for yourself to celebrate your small successes. So I'm getting a real go, go, go energy. Many of my Libras out there, you may need to really prioritize sleep, rest, just taking a break, especially if you're working really hard. Okay, let's see. Your energy is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, exactly. What you're leaving behind, the Ace of Wands. What you're moving towards, the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. What you need to know, Ten of Cups in reverse. What you need to do, Two of Pentacles. And your final outcome advice energy, the Seven of Wands. Yeah. So Libra, what I'm seeing off the bat here is that many of you, you do need to protect your energy. Um, I feel with the Queen of Wands in reverse, you've been probably pulled in a lot of directions, a lot of different directions, and you may be feeling like you're off balance or you're hemorrhaging energy. Um, so I do feel there's need for contemplation, quiet introspection, balance. And we have the Empress energy in reverse, which is you, or Taurus energy. But it's almost like something here isn't growing. And it could be something that you're working on. I'm almost getting that you're putting too much effort and energy into something, a relationship, a job, um, up-leveling. But it's that's a beautiful thing. But if it's too much, you may be delaying or frustrating growth and expansion. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on here. So with the Queen of Wands energy in reverse, I'm also seeing that many of you may be feeling triggered. Um, you may be in reactive mode. And it is possible if this does sort of resonate with my Libras at the level of a relationship or love, it is possible some of you have been or are in some sort of third party situation. So it feels like it feels like you may not be honoring your worth and your value. Um, or maybe somebody else isn't, and it's becoming abundantly clear or coming to sort of a boiling point. So the Queen of Wands in reverse, why is this here? We get the Empress. Yeah, because you are Empress energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, but something here, it's like something either you've been doing or you've been engaging in hasn't been honoring your worth and your value. And that's becoming abundantly clear to you. And with the Maiden of Fire, yeah, you're very passionate about whatever this is. But I'm also get getting, I'm also getting like you want to like rush towards something um, that you're very passionate about. Maybe it's this healing, maybe it's a purging and a releasing, building something, moving away from something. But Spirit's also telling you to take your time. Um, with the Ace of Wands and in, in your past energy, what you're leaving behind it's there's some there's something here that 
has divinely inspired you. And the way that they're framing it for me, my dear Libras, is you've had this spark of inspiration and you have been working so, so hard towards this particular outcome, but maybe you haven't been enjoying the journey or maybe you haven't been giving yourself time to rest. And so Spirit's telling you that like you may be playing with fire or you just may need to just find a little bit more balance. So Ace of Wands is clarified by the Four of Air. Yeah, there's a restlessness to get to make this happen stat right now, yesterday. All right, and we see Embolic. So we have the Star card in reverse, yeah. But I also feel that there's a need to sort of be patient and to take things slow because the Aquarius energy, the Star card, is an indication here that you it's like you it's like in the past you you got some sort of clarity and you know what it is that you want to work towards um and you're putting your all into making it happen and spirit wants you to know that your prayers are being answered but slow down take a deep breath it's whatever this is with that ace of wands it is meant for you so it's not going to be taken away so like, yeah, I just keep getting like for my Libras, it's time to just sort of enjoy the journey and know that it's happening. Um, and you may have to detach from the outcome or when it happens or how it happens. Just trust and believe because we do see this four of swords. What you're moving towards is healing, is coming out of this energy of stasis. Some of you, you're trying to improve your financial situations, your love lives. Um, you know, maybe it's with work or career. It this You're moving towards this goal and we see the seven of earth but you need to be patient yeah <laughs> nobody wants to hear that right libra and uh we also get the mother of water and we also see here the lover's card so yeah many of you there this is a love situation or a relationship um i do feel that there's this this energy of the distorted feminine with the with the queen of cups coming out in reverse that you might be starting to question like your own, like whether or not you deserve this. And I, I feel like some of my Libras, you've been calling in unnecessary drama. And I feel like spirits, like this reading for my Libras is like a major pep talk for you. Like this is going to happen. This is meant for you, whether it's a soulmate, whether it's a job, whether it's, you know, buying that home, something on your spiritual journey. Don't second guess it and don't flip out because it's not happening the way that you want it or in the timeline that you have that you have set up for yourself. Remember, there's divine timing at work here. What you need to know, Ten of Cups in reverse, this expansion, this growth is happening, but it may be coming on the heels of something else that needs to end, okay? I just, I feel like so strongly, Libra, that there's like so much going on for you right now. Um, it may feel a little bit overwhelming. The Ten of Wands, there's an ending, but this new beginning, what you're working towards, Libra, it's written in the stars. And that this is one of my favorite Ten of Wands cards. I also feel many of you, you're starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed by the responsibilities, maybe the energy that's surrounding you. Um, you know, and I feel that also like we have to be accountable for being, being too frenetic ourselves. So I just see spirit telling you to, you know, just find some balance, take those deep breaths, you know, understand this isn't going to be taken away from you if it doesn't all happen in the next five minutes or tomorrow or this week, that this is, you are stepping onto your soul's path. This person, this soulmate is meant for you this creative project, it's happening. Um, but we do need to release something from the past first. And the six of fire, yeah, absolutely. So there will be victory, there will be success. But right now there's this energy of chaos that I'm picking up on. It's really strong. I'm getting like strong Aries energy, which is your opposite sign. And that Aries energy is, you know, impulsive. So my Libras out there, try to, try to tame those impulses. Try to tame the beast within what you need to know the two of pentacles if many of you for example you've been burning the candle at both ends you've been working two three four jobs to make this dream happen um you've been you know you're feeling stretched really thin you know this is the two of pentacles is not sustainable energy and so i do feel that you're also if after you 
you know, you pray, you meditate, you take those deep breaths, you're going to make a decision and where it is best to channel your energy. And I'm feeling right now it's first and foremost in self-care. Okay, my dear Libras, so we see mm, two of cups, what you need to know. If this is a love relationship, Libra, this is your person, and it's not going anywhere. There may be some bumps in the road. There may be some obstacles and challenges, but this connection is not going anywhere. I just got really overwhelmed with emotion here. The two of cups, if it's not for, if it doesn't resonate for you about a love relationship, Libra, it's about finding that emotional balance. But first and foremost, you have to take care of you. Okay. And the element of water, the page of cups in reverse. So this is about, you know, the page of cups is saying that, you know, remember that if something isn't quite getting off the ground, there may be a, a reason for that. There may be a little bit more work for you to do. I'm just seeing this really powerful need for you to find emotional balance. And that can be really difficult with this, you know, Pluto energy, um, you know, that's also having us sort of focus on, um, you know, what, what's no longer productive and how we do things and viewing things from a different angle. Um, and I feel this, you know, this element of water, the page of cups energy in reverse as many of my Libras, you're having a hard time focusing or chunking things out or what is your top priority And this reading through and through is saying you need to prioritize your fir yourself first and foremost. Okay. And everything will fall into place. I just feel whatever this is that you're worried about or you're trying to create, like spirit wants you to know, like this is a major pep talk, Libra. It's going to be okay. It's coming. It's happening. Don't stress. Just continue on your path. Put that one foot in front of the other. Your final outcome is the seven of wands or your advice is you've been working hard towards this. Celebrate your small victories. This is a card of victory of rising above. And look at that. And we get judgment energy. You're switching timelines here. Libra, this is about something is coming to life. Don't worry. Don't stress. And we get, yeah, the fool. Aries energy. I knew I was picking up on Aries energy. You have a beautiful new beginning. But remember, something here needs to shift and change before that can happen. And we see the seven of water, this confusion, this delusion that many of us are feeling at this time is coming to an end, my dear Libras. Okay, so just ground yourself during this energy. I know I'm feeling this, this sense of overwhelm and I sort of have been, um, you know, and I had to check the astrology, like what is going on here? And so I do know that many of you, you are feeling this, you know, Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces. It's going to be okay, you know, and the seven of water in reverse is getting that clarity, bringing joy back into your life. Um, and for many of you, look at how she's holding his head. Um, I'm just seeing that for many of you, this is a beautiful partnership that's on your path. Um, but for others of you, it's just that emotional balance and balancing the masculine and the feminine within. So spirit's telling you to answer the call. What is your soul calling to do? This is part of your soul's path. Okay, answer the call, but it doesn't mean that it all has to unfold like yesterday, right? You can still, she's still seated. She's planning. She's being patient. And yeah, awakening with that judgment card, energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. Absolutely. And you know, the 10 of cups in reverse can be an energy of, you know, doing things differently. Like many of you, you're going through a really deep paradigm shift here. All right, and you're definitely, you know, many of you may be feeling um, ascension sickness or you, the sense of overwhelm as you're absolutely viewing things from a different angle. Um, and trust your path. Yeah, this is this is your message, Libra. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? But trust the path that you are on because you are being supported. And I know many of you may not feel that way who are connecting with this reading, but... Um, we also get Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? Mm, interesting. So is that on the spiritual journey? If you are being called to um, to go to certain places, trust that you may be receiving activations. All right. Because remember also, you know, this Jupiter-Neptune conjunction with this full moon in Libra, there's a tremendous amount of potential for spiritual inspiration. So trust the visions that you're receiving, 
trust the messages that you're getting um, and also the upgrades that many of you, you may receive if you're being called to go somewhere, even in your neighborhood, in your state, um, or if you're being called to travel somewhere, trust it, okay? All right, so we see, we get the south node destined to release, yeah. So there is something coming to an end. South node energy, Libra, whatever your south node might be, you know, that's our that's what we've learned in the lifetimes before we've come to this one or our fallback method. But I feel like there's something here new evolving for you. And we see Sagittarius. So stay optimistic, exploration, and freedom. So remember, Libra, you are free to choose. You have the power to say no or to walk away from whatever isn't in alignment with you. I do get a strong energy of travel. Maybe it's astral travel and projection for my dear Libras. But for others of you, you may be being called to go somewhere specifically. There may be somebody very important on your path. It could be a soulmate. It could be, you know, a spiritual guru, advisor, um, or just a lesson there for you, or, or like I said, an activation. And I see that heart chakra there definitely opening. And we see Mars energy. I was really picking up on this Aries energy, which makes sense. It's your opposite sign. Move forward and defend yourself. So I do see with the seven of wands as your final outcome and your advice, it is time to move forward. But remember, it's not about taking giant leaps. It's about those small steps. And many of you, you need to really protect your energy. I feel you're being pulled in many different directions. And we get house seven. So profound relationships, intimacy, and romantic partnerships. So many of you, there is the beginning of love um, or marriage or soulmate union. But I also see too that you are going to be very supported in whatever this is that you are doing. And right now, I feel many of my Libras, you may not feel that way. You may feel confused. You may feel overwhelmed. And it's also about really stepping into your power and recognizing that maybe you don't have to do everything. Um, you don't have to bear the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, and we get house two, so physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. So yeah, a lot of my Libras, this does have to do with like finding that balance between this 3D experience and your spiritual experience. Just take it slow, okay? Just take it slow. Let's see what messages, sorry, what energies are coming through to support my dear Libras at this time. Clear messages and guidance for my Libras at this time. So we get Mama Kocha. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Water energy. Beautiful. So this is a very emotional journey for my dearest Libras. For many of you, and I'm feeling it myself in my heart chakra, that heart chakra opening. 33 is also the master teacher number. So many of you, you are becoming, like the student is becoming a teacher, maybe through this experience. I'm also getting many of you, I don't know if it's a relationship that's coming into your life or you're going to a certain place, but you're learning. Um, you're, you're learning something at a very deep level. Many of you, this could be downloading, you know, light codes um, because there is definitely activations and ascension energy in this reading. So we have Gula healing, beautiful. And look at that third eye activation there. So many of you, you are in the state of healing. Healing from something in the past. Healing from, you know, like I said, this Empress energy showing up in reverse. Maybe you weren't honoring your worth and your value by participating in a relationship or situation. Or maybe somebody else wasn't, okay? And we see Parvati, devotion. So I feel spirits telling you in a very very direct way, Libra, with this reading, stick to your path and trust that it's unfolding for your highest and your greatest good. And we get Branwen forgiveness. So forgive yourself, forgive others so you can move forward. But most of all, go easy on yourself. There's something very beautiful unfolding here. Okay, Libras, if these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, share and subscribe. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.